Hello and welcome to another episode of Just Make Game. My name is Michael. And I'm Hayley. And we make video games. Well, hello. So the eagle-eyed among you will notice that this office looks a little bit different than it normally does, and that's because we've actually moved. We spent a good chunk of this month getting out of our old place, which looked a bit like a crack den, and getting into something that's a little bit nicer. So the place we're in now actually used to be an old shop back in the day, and it's been converted into a sort of modern apartment. I think it's pretty cute. If you're interested in what it actually looks like inside, I'll put a vlog up, a separate video up for those that are interested, but otherwise, just know that we spent a couple of weeks this month trying to get everything organized for the new place. Make it more dramatic. Uh, other than that, we also were up in Queensland for about a week or so visiting friends and family. Queensland is up here. There's a natural spirit here, found in the incredible beaches, the ocean's shifting moods. And we're down there. Me and Haley are actually from Queensland originally, so it was nice to catch up with some people that we haven't seen in years. Apart from that, we also managed to do some work too. I got to put all of the HUD elements I'd made so far into the bin. Mike will go into detail on why we decided to chuck them out in just a minute. So I started working on some of the graphics for magic and special abilities for the HUD. I've made a nice looking book and a sweet looking scroll. I'm really happy with how the scroll looks because it's a bit different and fancy compared to your regular RPG scroll. I've also started playing around with different symbols to use on the books and scrolls. I was looking at different symbols from the Necronomicon and Germanic runes and I've started to come up with some of my own symbols using these as a basis. My instinct is to go for curved lines and circles but I'm pretty restricted by the resolution we are working with so it's a fun challenge to try and do these. I've only done a few and I'm not happy with all of them, so there's still plenty of work to do on these symbols because I'll need quite a few for all of our spells and special abilities. I have also redrawn the god mask within the confines of our new HUD resolution. We really can't decide on a colour scheme for it, or can't decide if maybe we want it to change colours depending on its mood or something else altogether. So at the moment it's staying in grayscale. I've just done the one expression for now as we're toying with the idea of doing some rotoscoping to get the mask reactions and emotions looking right when we animate it. We might even have some random elements that get generated as part of the god mask that would change each playthrough, but it's still just a thought. We were initially experimenting with drawing the UI and the HUD at twice the in-game resolution. Now, the reason we were trying this out and giving it a go is I was concerned that when drawing the HUD elements at in-game res, we'd have a, a lack of actual space to get everything we needed in there, especially text. Text can take up a big bunch of sort of screen real estate when you're at low res. For a good example of that, see what I had to do in Bannerman for text. It takes up about three quarters of the screen to get a sentence in there. We did a bunch of tests and I was convinced that I don't like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of mixels or sub-pixels at all. Um, this is where the resolution of various elements are all mixed together in an image. So it tends to look really amateur if it's not done absolutely perfectly. So we've decided to change things around. So at this point, all HUD elements, um, the God mask, the in-game map and all that sort of thing are drawn at in-game resolution. And there's an option there for text to bend some of these rules slightly and be drawn sub-pixel, but it'll be done discreetly and sort of hidden. It still needs more testing, but I think we may be able to mix the pixel perfect HUD elements with a tiny bit of sub-pixel text when we need it, and we can have it work without looking at it absolutely terrible. Or we might not, I don't know, we'll see. Um, obviously we need to test it out more and I might absolutely hate it, but I'm, I'm quite a purist when it comes to pixel perfect resolutions and um, I'm not a big fan of sort of sub-pixel rendering, but you know, if you've got the tools available, might as well see if they work and if you can get them working in a way that you want. I spent a lot of the working time this month redrawing the test weapon graphics at the lower resolution that we're going with now, and I was whipping up a couple of different variants as well. So our weapons will be randomly generated, uh, much in the same way as the original Diablo games. This is where a weapon has a chance to have a, a prefix, a suffix, or both, and these can all give effects to the weapon. So for example, you may be able to find a rusty broadsword, but this 
or you could find a nimble whip of fear, a large of power, and you know, so on and so on. Uh, different weapon sprite variants will be assigned to the various combinations, and there are other various effects that we can pop on as well for weapons that deal with like status effects, so things like uh, setting people on fire and bleeding and curses, hexes, paralysis, all that sort of stuff. We also met up with Josh and John again for a music meeting and a quick little catch up. Uh, the music is coming along steadily, there's nothing certain yet and there's definitely nothing recorded yet, but uh, here's a bit of a taste of the sort of general style that we're looking at. So as you can hear, it's a, uh, definitely a little bit different from Bannerman's soundtrack, quite a bit heavier. I'm really confident about it, I think it's going to be fantastic, just like Bannerman's soundtrack. But um, yeah, you'll have to wait a bit longer to hear any more of it. Thank you for watching this episode of Just Make Game. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Come on.